Okay, you guys, so let's make a birthday gift basket for the hubby. His birthday's coming, and I found this cool ass container at Dollar Tree. And this is the perfect size, not too big, not too small. And the boys chose red this year. You'll see on my Instagram when I post pictures of his little birthday party, which is always only us four, anyways. So the first thing I picked up is this is how do i say it it's a hit or a miss i don't know how he's gonna feel about it this is a man bag <laughs> i don't know if you guys have seen these but they're just for men they're um smaller than a book bag and they could put their tablets under their phones i picked this one up at tj maxx and this one has for the phone you guys see that so this is a great gift for a guy like i said either it's a hit or a miss i don't know how the your guy brother father whatever feels about carrying a bag because a lot of guys are like uh, it's a purse but it's not it's called a man bag and i think this is perfect so when we go to um disney world i plan to take the kids in december he could put his tablet there his phone you know how we're running around uh, running after the kids i think this would be perfect for him to put a couple of gadgets in and as this is the brand on it And it was $17.99 at TJ Maxx. So that's perfect. In case he does not want it, I don't want to cut the receipt off. Oh, Terry, um, Lisa, Chrissy, a bunch of you guys. Marianne has told me, don't cut the receipt off. Don't take it off. Because you know how I, I leave it on. So in case people want to return the gift. But you guys say, don't leave the price on there. You guys said, grab a marker and just mark off the price. Now, does that work? I have no idea. But look at that. That looks pretty good, right? Can you see the price? I don't think you can. So I didn't have a black Sharpie. I used a brown one. So that still leaves the um, tag on there. In case he does not want to wear it, in case he doesn't like it, he can return it. It has a pocket here in the front. It has a pocket in here. And the pocket has pockets. So he could put his pencils his tablet, his phone, anything, a charger, anything, the car keys that he wants to pack on there. You close it up. It has another back organization in the back. Let me see. Yeah, it does. Right there with another pack. So it has like a little cushion under in case he wants to put a sandwich in here a soda some chips and of course like i said the phone goes right here so it goes across his chest and it has in the back it has that you can um adjust it so he can adjust it to this one or this one so he can adjust it however he wants i thought this was a perfect gift for a man who obviously has a ton of change in his pocket has um things he wants to put in things he wants to take out you know, anything that he wants to carry, I think this is a great bag for them. Of course, you have to, like, make sure he wants to carry a bag. Not every man wants to, but it's optional. I would if I was a man. Trust me, they're so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of the shred paper on here just to cushion it off. I don't know if um, I should add tissue or shred paper, but... I have shred paper, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. Just to add a little cushion. Now, if I have more, I'm going to go get more. I think I'm going to... No, I think that's... No, I'm going to get a little more. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going far. I just want a little bit more. Oh, and I actually have the bag that I can show you. This is the bag from the dollar store. You see? I'm going to go ahead and add it all in there. And throw this bag out. I love to use this. Lately, I've been using this a lot. I like to use the tissue as well. But I've been reaching for this. So, yeah, I think it's a cute, adorable bag. Man bag. Sorry, guys. I don't want to, like, you know. 
be like, where's this bag? But yeah, I'm gonna leave the tags on there. I'm gonna just tuck, make sure everything is tucked in. And let's see what else we can add to this bag. Yeah, I think that's very cute. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to add were this nice brand. And this is just a trail mix. And this is just a trail mix, which is one of my favorite snacks. Peanut butters, M&M's, chocolate, dark chocolate, peanut butter, raisins. So this is just a nice brand, which is um, like the, it would be like the Walmart brand. So let's add that in there. Cute. So those are one of his favorite snacks. So it's, I decided to add it in there. I am also adding a charger for his phone. He uses this for his phone, for his tablets, for his laptop, everything you can think of. It's the same charger. So I made sure to get the same brand. And I picked this up at TJ Maxx for $5.99. So this one, I will be taking the tag off. Because I know it's the charger he uses. I hate when the you're taking off a tag and it just rips in millions of pieces. And I get they do that so people won't steal. And I love picking up these chargers in the boxes when I'm doing my bags because it just looks real nice in the box so you just add it right there see how cute that looks you just add it like really cute i picked up mm, let's see if i can take off the tag this was on sale for six dollars I think I posted it on my Instagram, but I want to take off this tag. He's not going to return this. This is cute. I don't want him to see that it was on sale. Okay, so this is from TJ Maxx. It was on sale for six bucks. It is originally $7.99. And this is a little toolkit. Look how cute this is. And it's a five-piece manicure set for the guys. And it says, go kit. I thought this was great. So when we go on vacation, he could throw this in the bag. Let me see. No, I can't open it. But this is what's inside. So I thought that was super cute. So the go kit is going to go right in front. And in case I do want it to stand up more, I can just add more tissue in there. I can add more tissue in there or I can add, you know, the styrofoam. So I'm going to add the styrofoam just to give it some length on it, you guys. So I am going to add the styrofoam on there. I'm going to add that. See, that's better. And then this will be my main attraction like that. I think that looks way better. How cute is that? I don't want it to stand up too much that it falls off the basket so that it's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a card that my son wrote in there. And in there he wrote, this is from Antonio. He wrote um, that he loves him. Obviously I always show you guys it's so cute but I end up putting a bow on it already and it gave her to McDonald's. So I'm gonna add that in here. I think like that. Like so. I'm going to go ahead and add a $50 gift card to the gas station. Because you know right now gas is so expensive. So this is a win-win right here. I'm just going to add it right in there. And this is going to be like so. So how cute is that? If I could get the other bowl to show. I think that would be cuter.
like that. So that's perfect. I don't have to hot glue it to stand up. It actually looks really nice like that. So there you go, you guys. I have two more things I want to add in there. I want to add his favorite car air fresheners. And I picked these up at the dollar store. And I picked up two of these just for this. So I'm going to add one in the back. And then one more here. Like so. So that is perfect, you guys. Oh, I have one more thing. My gift. I have to add it in there as well. So this is a gift from me and Antonio. We decided to mix it together. So he helped me choose half of the stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and add a gift money gift card holder and i made this myself how cute is that so since the bag was black i decided to put happy birthday in black and then we're just going to go ahead and add the money you're going to add remember when adding your money always face the heads the same way like so so always face these the same way slide in your money make it look adorable i love making these Look at how pretty that is. And then you just add it right into your basket. So like that. How cute is that? Now if you think it's not going to show, go ahead and change it. And add it right in front. Like so. And there you go. A perfect birthday gift basket for him you have your gift card you have some money you have some snacks you have a little gift and a cute adorable item so let's go ahead and use these bags that my friend um, sent me Ashley thank you girlfriend and Marianne always sending me these bags that keep me going because you guys I have a hard time finding these over here like literally you cannot find them they're always sold out so i'm always on the hunt for a bag so i'm very thankful and grateful that you ladies are always helping me out especially with my diy so let's go ahead and slide that in here oh, i think it came out a super adorable now, I didn't add any chocolates because it is so hot over here in Chicago that they'll just melt. So, no chocolates this time. Go ahead and grab your basket. Gently place it down all the way in the bottom. Pull up your bag. Make sure your bag is exactly how you want it, right in the middle. If not, move it around, you guys, so you get it exactly how you want it. I think I'm fine okay i think that's pretty cute okay so one thing that um my friend terry hey terry in here has told me is that when you make a bigger basket you should have a bigger bowl so i'm gonna go ahead and listen to you on that girlfriend and let's see how this is gonna come up i'm gonna make a bigger bowl she sent me a couple of pictures of just showing me how she makes the bowl bigger so i decided why not give it a try and um, see if I can make the bowl bigger. So I went to Dollar Tree and picked up these gorgeous bowls that match the basket. And you get two of them for $1.25. <clears throat> I also seen... I also have this already, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. And we're going to go ahead and make a huge bowl. And let's see how this turns out. Like This is the first time for me using a huge bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and close it up first. So can you guys see the top on the basket? Let's go ahead and close this up. Okay, so right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck it in. Well, I think I should close it first and then tuck it in. I'm just going to close it up just so it holds while I make my bowls and everything else that it, it needs. 
So how cute is that already? Okay, so I'm gonna grab my tape. I'm gonna tuck it in. Just so it looks really nice and neat and I'm gonna tape it to the bed. See how cute that is already? And this I'm gonna go ahead and I'll take it out right now. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna grab some tape and I'm just gonna tuck it in the back. So that's how I'm doing is tucking it in the back. Okay guys, so I'm gonna open it again and then close it up and make it look nicer. This was just to hold it while I was taping it. Okay, bring it around. And that should look way neater. I'm gonna close it. And I'm gonna go ahead and make my bowl. Okay. So let's go ahead and make this bow. If you don't like the side edges and they're sticking out way too much for you, just grab some tape and close it. That's all you really have to do. Let's go ahead and make this bow. I'm gonna use the red. Now I'm gonna go around a couple of times. I want it to hang like that. So I'm gonna go around a couple of times. Not too big, but not too small. Okay, that's perfect. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna go ahead and use the white. I'll fix that later. And I wanna do the white, I wanna do it the same measurements. So. I thought it would be nice if I added two colors. So how cute is that already? Look how that's gonna look. Just add a little bit of white. I'm gonna add a little bit of more of the white. And that <laughs> fell. I'll pick that up later after the video. You guys, don't worry. So let me cut up. Okay, so that's perfect. I'm gonna bring it around. And I'm gonna do a knot underneath. I know it seems impossible, but you got this. Bring it all out. And then just tie it right there as tight as you can. And let it hang. How cute is that? I get what she's trying to say now. So let's go ahead and grab one of our bows. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and remove it from the thing. How do you remove it? Oh, I see. Put it here. Put it here and then you peel it off. Oh, it has a double stick tape right there. I almost ripped it off, you guys. Okay, so before I put it there, I'm going to go ahead and add it. Like so. Oh, I see what she's talking about. It is cuter. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab the bottom of this. And all I'm going to do is cut them. I'm not gonna cur well I could curly some of them up if I wanted to. I can even add more string and make it more prettier. But how cute is that already? Okay, so with each basket I always and when I mean always I 
always cut a third of the top so we're going to do the same thing here i don't want it to sag so we're going to go ahead and cut it and that's going to help it stay up so how cute is this there you go you have a cute adorable basket and i get it what she means that my bowls are way way too small let me push it a little more back so you guys could get the whole view. But I like it. You guys, let me know what you guys think about the bowl um, being bigger or, or not. But I think it came out adorable. You guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. And until next time, bye you guys.